What we have is a, a class of abusers who are very technically proficient and obviously they want to evade detection and so they tend to try and find new ways of uh, doing what they want to do without being caught. The good news is there are centres like SEOP working with partners actually trying to stay up with the technology, keep ahead of the game, and we have some really good successes in cases catching people who really think they're acting completely anonymously. But the risk is there, and one of the most important things is people need to be really aware of the scope of it so they can protect themselves and work with industry, government, law enforcement to make children in the UK as safe as possible. In the main, where is this happening? Here? Abroad? <coughs> both places? Well, both places. Uh, we've dealt with cases in the last year where the abusers are in a different country, and they target children in the UK and other uh, English-speaking countries. We've dealt with cases where the abusers are in the UK, but the children are in other parts of the world. So the old model, if you like, of meeting online with a view to uh, meeting offline and then physical abuse taking place is actually a diminishing part of our work. These days, sexual abuse of children can take place purely online.